thing on. Hey guys, so good to see you and boy, do I have an adventure in store for you today. There are two things I love in life. One of them is food. Eating it, thinking about it, looking at it, smelling it, everything. Since I've been a kid, I have loved food. I currently live in London and there's so many different types of cuisine. I always try and go out of my way to try different types of food when I'm out traveling. So that's the first one. The second one is martial arts. Since I was a kid, I've always been interested in it. I used to watch those old school 80s, um, you know, Jean-Claude Van Damme films when you see him like throwing kicks, busting up man left, right and center, all the rest of it. So uh, on and off, since I was about 16, I've been, I've been training in kickboxing uh, and I'm relatively new to Muay Thai. So putting those two things together, I thought, you know what, why not go to Thailand, learn from the source and eat some of the best food in the world. But before I leave London, I have a home cooked meal by my beautiful girlfriend, fried chicken and some mac and cheese. and onto some rough shadow boxing footage. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea of where I'm at after taking about two years off. I apologize for the shaky footage, but uh, the, the ring was wobbly. This was also after class, so I'm a little bit tired, uh, as you might see. Anyway, here I'm working on trying to slip a punch into a spinning elbow, also trying to use the backhand to switch stances a bit, uh, which is which is more of what we learned that lesson. But just generally, you'll see uh, my flexibility is quite low uh, with these knees as well. I'm not really pushing my hips through, the elbows as well. The rotation of the shoulders just isn't there, uh, which is some some things I really tried to work on when I went to Thailand. You can see the same thing in my kicks. I mean, it looks a bit stiff. There's a leg kick right there and you, you guys can see so there again i switched stances uh from southpaw into orthodox and just trying to incorporate the spinning elbow you know how it is everyone loves going to the advanced spinning elbow when their basics are <laughs> shaky and stiff but there you go and now we'll kind of switch to um the kicks from like the, the hip points of view so in thailand one thing i learned is not to turn the base leg too much which is contrary to what I, I'm usually taught uh, it's trying to open up those hips upwards so pointing straight and directly upwards um, crew man up used to always say up turn up turn and lastly those teeps really trying to get that accurate foot placement and uh, push the hips through which I'm not doing too well here I'm kind of off balance well that's it um Day zero, haven't even begun yet, um, but there's a lot I have to improve on. Um, stamina for one, like there's a few times during sparring, I just felt my energy just drop. Um, and on pads as well, today oh, our coach took it easy, we only did about three rounds of pads, but still, after the sparring and after all the technicals, um, bottom line is my stamina <laughs> needs to improve. Uh, technique as well it's a bit sloppy like I, I haven't been training regularly and um, I'm I'm paying the price for it pretty much so for Thailand I'm just gonna I'm going to try and be a bit smart about how I go in I won't do two sessions every day straight away maybe one uh, for the first couple of days and then ramp it up from there um, but I'll see how my body reacts and, and I'll just try and try and go along with it pretty much uh, but my goal is to just get back on it every time come back stronger all right and that's it for london so uh i'll see you guys in thailand what is up guys we are finally finally here after a long flight we've made it to dubai too smart for me aren't you we're in bangkok um so yeah we're here in uh in lumpini park 
Uh, it's, it's actually really close to Yukar, which hopefully we're going to be checking out a little bit later. Almost got hit by a bike, but it's okay. I've survived within two hours. That's what you get for, for standing in the bike lane. But anyway, uh, I'm out here looking, looking like a full tourist. Got the vest and shorts, even socks and sandals combo, pretty much. Uh, smelling like Versace's finest. Oh, wait. I mean, deep jungle spray mosquito repellent pong but it's cool it's cool it's it's nice and it's nice and um nice and refreshing to be smelling like mosquito repellent so uh these are the current scenes in thailand there's uh there's no footpath or anything at all i'm walking around maybe i'm doing the wrong thing but everyone else is walking just like on the road pretty much uh, there's also a guy over here like selling selling coal traditionally hey guys so I'm here at the Pat Wong night market which has a reputation I stumbled upon it by mistake um, but everyone's been really nice to be honest no one's really hassled me even though I obviously look like a tourist um, yeah it's a lot of good stuff we'll just turn around <laughs> Oh look, real supreme out here. Okay guys, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit noisy, but I've ended up with some chicken soup, chicken noodles, straight from a vendor. So, uh, let's see how it turns out. Okay guys, so I don't know if you can hear me, but this soup is really good. Um, so you can you can season it as different, there's like crushed peanuts, sugar, chili, fish sauce, a lot of different things you can season it with, but it's really, it's like a really wholesome soup. So there's chicken in there. I got mine with noodles, but there's the option of rice as well. Uh, I think that's kidney or liver, one of the two. You can have some crackling in there. It's it's a good mix of, of meat, veg, and it's just very filling, very wholesome, and nicely spiced as well. And it's all made right here. Um, yeah. Like, uh, as, as I guess I said earlier, this is going to be like the unfiltered, unfiltered Bangkok, pretty much, uh, unfiltered Thailand. I'm, I'm not a video editor, I'm not a videographer, so this is going to, you're going to get exactly what I see, pretty much. And hopefully it will be pretty good. Um, but yeah, first meal at Pat Pong Market. Yeah, it's made by Buddy in a do rag over there. What a guy! So. That's what I have in store for you today. Essentially, I'm gonna take you with me and we're going to explore Thailand. Um, I'm gonna to go to a lot of different gyms. We'll try out a few of the classic names. I'm gonna I'm gonna to go to Sanchai's gym or rather well, Yokao, uh, popularized by famous all-time legendary fighter Senchai. Hopefully he's there while I'm training, so then we can get a bit of a feel for for how tricky he is in real life. Um, then I'm thinking we'll go up north to, to the Chiang Mai area. Um, as, an, as an aside, just feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm pronouncing any of this incorrectly, I'm sorry. So we'll start off at Yukao, then go up and then go back down to the islands uh, and check out Koh Phan Yan. Um, and then for the second part, I'll kind of move over to Vietnam and it's just going to be rest, relaxation, and lots and lots of good food. So yeah, you ready?
Nice. 